I just needed to say sorry if my breath smells bad in this video. I ate something just before recording, so if you could just ignore that, that would be great. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we got Marvel Spider-Man 2 once again. Okay, Marvel Spider-Man 2 all the time, almost every day. So, let's just get right into it. Villains, subscribe for more videos every day. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start all the way from confirmed to very unlikely so of course for first up we got venom he was this is obviously a shot from him from the trailer so we know for a hundred percent fact that he will be in the game everybody knows everything about venom venom is one of the most popular spider-man villains ever that's all you need to know next up we got another technically confirmed one from the trailer you can very clearly hear his voice in the trailer Although nobody over at Insomniac or Marvel has confirmed that it's Craven, they just refer to him as the mystery voice. But I think we all know that it's Craven the Hunter. That would be pretty cool. Now we have Dr. Kirk Connors, aka the Lizard. Peter has already fought this villain in the universe before, so why not again? He was in the post credit scene for Miles Morales, helping Norman Osborn work on the symbiote for Harry. So, I feel like he's definitely going to be in it, and some leaked sources have said that Lizard is going to be in this game. Another villain that Peter's already fought in this universe, and will very likely be in the next game, is Quentin Beck, aka Mysterio. They had the, uh, you know, the Easter egg in the first game with the backpack piece, where he mentions Mysterio if you select it. So, yeah, he's probably going to be in it too, why not? And the main reason I think these two villains will be in the next game is because the next game will be only on PS5. And I feel like Mysterio and Sandman would be great on PS5 just to show the full capabilities of it with like an illusion sequence. You know, you could have Sandman destroying buildings, stuff like that. Second to last on this list is Norman Osborn the Green Goblin. I feel like he won't be in this game and he'll be in Spider-Man 3. But he'll be teased in this game or possibly even appear. Okay, we did have that concept art that I mentioned like a whole video on, uh, which was my most popular video on my channel. So if you haven't seen that, you can go watch it. But I feel like he's very unlikely for this game. This game's already so packed with Venom and Craven and stuff like that. So I don't feel like there's a place for Green Goblin in this game. But they might be able to work it out. And my final villain on this list, which I think is the most unlikely villain to appear, is Carnage, Cletus Cassidy. There's just too much already going on for this. I feel like this will definitely be in Spider-Man 3 though, and there will be a setup for it in this game with Venom. So we can expect this for Spider-Man 3, don't expect it at all for Spider-Man 2. But that is going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Bye guys.